Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm checking out the Crate Club's summer box right here. So let's check it out. So if you're not familiar with Crate Club, it's a tactical survival box built by Navy SEALs and Special Operations Forces Professionals. And it's also a quarterly box, so you'll get one every four months. And the box that I have right here is the general box. So let's open this bad boy up and oh my god check this out so this box is so big i usually just put it off to the side and take out items one by one and here's the guide and i'll be using this throughout this video all right so the first thing let's get this small little guy right here this is salty britches skin barrier ointment so let's see what it says here about salty britches prevents and soothes chafing and blisters from ruck amphibious operations and all other imagined misery <laughs> oh wow okay so this is let me smell this oh wow it actually doesn't smell that bad robust long lasting won't melt in the heat and won't freeze in the cold developed in north carolina and made in the usa used extensively by elite U.S. military operators, including MARSOC. So this is pretty cool, but I'm going to put this off to the side and let's see what else we have in here. Oh, this big thing. All right. It is the Gerber Freescape Camp Saw. So this is a folding saw, and you can see it's already folded relatively flat while it's in the package. And on the back here, attached is the blade. So let's get this out of the package here. So let's... Cut along this line here. Doesn't really matter. Let's just get this bad boy out of this packaging. So that was kind of a pain in the butt to get out of the packaging. So it looks like it has a rubberized grip right here. And I can see there's also another blade already attached inside. This is just a replacement blade. So that's really cool. And it says right here, except standard 12 inch saw blades. So how the heck do we open this thing? Okay, it just opens up like this. That folds back on itself, and there we go. Holy crap. There's the blade. Be very careful. Fold that out, and just attaches itself right back into the base here. And if I can get it on camera here, this is what it's going to look like. I'm not going to attach anything just yet. I just want to show you this for demonstration purposes, but this is actually really cool. And when, you, when you're done with it here... This thing just folds right back up into itself. This is awesome. So put the blade back in, the handle folds right back on itself. Actually get that little hook back inside there. And yeah, there you go. So if you guys are into camping, you know just how important little portable saws like this are, especially if they fold away like this and can fit right into your backpack. So this is a really awesome, item to pull out of this box here. So let's pull out the next item right here. And this is a gear aid Burry. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. All right, so let's check this out here. The gear aid Burry knife made with five CR 15 stainless steel equipped with a bottle opener at the end. Of course it does. Molly compatible sheath for countless mounting options and built in glass breaker for emergencies. So you can see that glass breaker right there and the bottle opener right here. You can see right here, it has that belt clip along with the sheath here. So let's take this out of the packaging very quickly and check it out. So reading more about it right here, it says the full tang titanium coated three inch drop point blade is ultra strong and will not break under pressure. So this is titanium coated here. And it is a combo blade as you can see right here. And it doesn't really mention what the handles are made of. It might be FRN, I'm not exactly sure. And then taking a look at the sheath here, the belt clip is stainless steel, so that's a pretty nice touch. And the sheath does have a quick release lever right here, and it's gonna snap in right to this little tab right here on the handle, so let's click that in. There we go, nice little snap. And then just give it a nice little push with your thumb. Pretty nice. So this is something I'd probably keep in my emergency backpack or kit, just out of the way, especially with this glass breaker and bottle opener. Yeah, I like it. All right, so what's next? The Peltor Sport Tri-Flange Reusable 
earplugs. So these are pretty self-explanatory. So triple flange designed for snug comfort fit, washable and corded. Uh, three pairs of earplugs and one case. It says made in the USA, NRR 26DB. Triple flange design for snug, I already read that. Washable and corded, I already read that. <laughs> Reusable cord helps reduce the chance of loss when not in use. So this is pretty self-explanatory. You can never have enough earplugs, so that is really nice. So let's move on to the next item, and that is a Nikron 1200 lumen flashlight. So let's see here, it says it has a twist head that you can rotate up to 90 degrees nine different modes three different colors that's pretty cool white green and red light usb charging there's a strong magnet right here at the tail osram led with a lifespan of 50,000 hours there's a smart button 360 degree rotary clip and a strong aluminum alloy body it also says it has a throw of 178 meters there's a intensity of 8,000 candela one meter impact resistant and it has an ip rating of 65. so not the greatest waterproof rating with the five but the dust rating is pretty solid with that six and it is rechargeable and I'm curious to see what the USB charger is hopefully it's a C and not a micro so let's just check that out because hiding under this little flap here and let's get that out and oh wow it is a USB type C that's solid all right so I'll give you guys a close-up of the Nikron what is this is the B70 the Nikron B70 and it's actually quite large. So you can see it does have that 90 degree rotating head here, which these are always very, very handy. Got the pocket clip right here on the back. It looks like you can charge through the USB type C port right on the outside of the body. Then you have the power button on the opposite side of that charging port. So let's see what batteries in here. So we have a uh, 2600 milliamp hour, 3.6 volt, 18650. So let's put that back in here now that the little protective piece is removed. And how do we turn this on right here? Do I hold it down? All right, yes, you hold it down. And then, oh, wow, there's the green light. Okay, it's just a single press to cycle through all the modes. So low, medium, high, off. And then hold it down to reach those color modes. That's pretty cool. And then looking at the guide here, Crate Club says that it has an IP rating of X4, but the box says IP65. So that's a big difference in ratings here. So I'm not gonna go by this guide. I'm just gonna trust what it says on the box that it's IP65. It says it weighs 7.2 ounces. And yeah, this is pretty hefty for a flashlight. And it comes in at 6.45 inches by 1.1 by 1.1. And let's just see how strong this magnetic tail cap is here. And oh yeah, nice. That's actually pretty solid. Cool. All right, so let's put this back in the package. And if you hear fireworks going on in the background, my neighbors are idiots. It's July 24th when I'm recording this video and people are still setting off fireworks. So I'm just gonna say, screw it. You're gonna hear noises in the background because I'm sick of talking around it. I've done that for about three months now and uh, not doing it anymore. I'm just going to talk right over it. So next, pull start fire. So pull start fire starter is called. No matches or lighters, no kindling, lights wet wood, windproof and rainproof, burns up to two and a half times hotter than leading brands, burns for over 30 minutes, multiple built-in safety features and satisfaction guaranteed. So instructions on the back here, loop the green string over log to secure, build a structure of logs and pull the red string quick and hard to start. So I believe this is a one-time use only. I don't feel multiples in there. I think it's just one. Pull the string, starts to fire. You got yourself a fire, that's awesome. Let's move on. All right, next, looks like we have ourselves another knife from Revolt Knives. That's awesome. I have a few Revolt Knives at this point, and this one's called the Remove, Remove, I believe, right there. So let's see the Revolt Remove, Remove, however the heck you say it, and check this out already. I love it. So we have some really nice handles here. I believe that's G10, and it's red and black, and it has green liners in there check that out pretty nice pancake style sheath here let's take this out 
And wow, check this bad boy out. So this is looking like a pretty decent hunting knife here. So let's check this out. So blade steel, it's a 7CR uh, draw point flat grind. Blade length, 3.97 inches. Overall length, 9 inches. Handle is red and black G10 with the green liners, as I already mentioned here. But also says it has a full-size removable gut hook and bottle opener. So how does that... Oh, wow. Okay, this... So look, check this out, just you push down on the jimping right here and the gut hook comes right out of the back. So that's a pretty smart design. The backspacer is a usable hook and bottle opener. So I'll give you guys a nice close up of this gut hook and bottle opener here. And like I said, the jimping right there. So let's see how it fits right back inside and just push up. Yeah, it just pushes right back up, locks into place. Very nice. I'll tell you, I really dig the looks of this thing. I love this red and black G10 handles with that green liner. And these contoured handles here, they feel really nice in the hand. So let's stick this back in the sheath. Nice little snap to it. And let's move on to the next item here. And is this another knife here? Fox Edge. So yeah, this is another knife here, which is crazy. Three knives in one box. I am not complaining, I love it. So let's check this out. And this one's called the Fox Edge Done Deal. Check out this awesome first release fixed blade, the Done Deal from Fox Edge. And wow, check this out. So already I can tell, oh wow. Look at that blade. So we got an 8CR13 MOV stainless steel blade, um, HRC5960 hardness. The blade coating is stonewashed. And yeah, you can see that is beautiful. The handle is OD Green G10. The blade length is 4.2 inches. The overall length is 9.45 inches. The blade thickness is 0.16 inches here. And the weight is 7.80 ounces. I have to apologize because it does say G10 OD green handle, but in the description here, it does say Coyote Tan G10 handles. And to me, it looks more Coyote Tan than OD green. And now let's check out the Kydex sheath here. And yes, it does have the tech lock on the back here. That's very nice. Fits in very nice. And this feels beautiful in the hands. We got these nice oversized finger grooves here. So check this out. So hand just wraps right around it. This feels very natural. And checking out this blade further, we do have a hollow grind. There's a swedge that starts about, I don't know, just a little more than halfway down the blade. And once again, I just love the looks of that stone wash here on the blade. That looks really nice. And if this is the first released fixed blade by Fox Edge, you guys, you guys nailed it. All right, so let's put this back in the box here. And I only have a few items left it looks like so what is this it looks like ready hour emergency food storage 72 hour kit so it looks like these are just ready to eat food kits that are inside these pouches here so this is pretty nice i'm not going to open this bag here but it says uh resealable pouches for durability 25 year shelf life 16 servings averaging 1666 calories per day and i will show you a picture i mean <laughs> That looks pretty damn good. So of course, MREs are always pretty handy to have around, especially in emergency situations. So I'm gonna leave this sealed up just for emergency purposes. All right, so we're running down to the last few items here. And wow, what the heck is this? Lord and Field Outfitters. So I don't know what this is. Let's take it out of the package here. Nice, oh wow, what is this? Very nice bag, by the way. I love this. So it looks like some steel or iron, it's like pokers. What the heck is this? Let me just see what this is here in the guide. Okay, so it's a Lord and Field Bushcraft Grill Set with waxed canvas carrying case. Very nice. So it looks like we have a hook here. So this is for hanging pots over a fire for cooking. And yeah, yeah, this is pretty solid. So let's see the rest. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. So let me take this out. So here's the grill surface here for, for pots and pans. And we have some extra pieces here. Let me take all this out here and check out how we assemble this thing. So just fit one of these rods through the coil here and let it hang. And then we have ourselves 
nice little steak right here. Put it right in the ground, right over a fire. And we have our nice little cooking surface. It's pretty nice. And this rod right here has a hook, the same deal. Put that right through here. You can use this to hook a pot over a fire to boil water or whatever. So this looks like it's a pretty nifty little portable grill set. Um, especially with this wax canvas bag here, everything fits in pretty nice with these individual spaces for all the rods. And if you guys were wondering dimensions, it says overall case is 15 by 11 inches, leg extensions are 14 inches, the hook is 13 and a half inches, and the grate is six inches by nine inches with a seven inch arm. And I almost forgot to show you here, this hook does have little stops, three stops right here. So you can put your pot there and not worry about it sliding down if you wanna put it in any one of these positions here. All right, I thought this was the last item, but it's not. I have one more thing in here. And this is the BattleTac, uh, I have no idea what to say, under desk holster. Yeah, that sticker was in the way, but the under desk holster, see what this is all about. All right, so this looks like there's some screw holes right here. You're supposed to screw this under your desk. And we have this elastic holster right here. You can put your firearm right there. And this is basically screwed right under your desk. And it looks like it can fit a wide variety the firearms here, it doesn't really say. Yeah, it does say it fits most size guns, including revolvers, uh, built tough with industrial strength elastic, right here. Weapon fits snug with easy access if needed and mounts easily to any flat surface and holds weapon tight and secure. So this is, yeah, it's like a rubberized back right here. So this is actually pretty sturdy. Oh, look at that, they give you the screws right here in the bag. What else do we have here? Little battle tax sticker and then just assembly instructions but i don't think we need that it's just four screws mount it and stick it in there all right guys that's pretty much it for this video what do you guys think of the summer box from cray club now if you guys want to check out cray club for yourself i will have links below in my description box but if you guys did enjoy this video please give me that thumbs up please subscribe and go